Oh man, look at this. We're going to be fungus. Hey there, everyone. My name is Brian from the Guys Who Play Games, back with some more classic Marvel 2, the longest ROM hack in existence. Well, I think this game supposedly has like 120 exits. Maybe I should actually check. I don't know. See, I, maybe I should have checked this ROM hack a little bit before just playing it. Because this was always intended to just be sort of an extra. But it sort of turned into like a full-blown project that's been longer than a lot of my other stuff. Well, maybe not longer, but definitely feels like it's been longer. Maybe it's because rather than being like A to XT that it feels like I actually want to play it. This thing was just sort of something I was going to do as a side thing, just to sort of spend some time playing some Super Mario World again. But this thing is definitely been a lot longer than I was intending it to be. <laughs> also, I think I just died. Rather unfortunate. However, it's cool to see that Mr. Koopa Dude has physics when I'm dead and does not move forward. Which also leads to the idea of Mario stops doesn't quite stop time when he dies, but he does get close to it. He's not quite the Time Lord you expect him to be, but he does have control over time in some aspects, I suppose. Anyways, uh... <laughs> hopefully I'm gonna die a lot less, I don't know. I am It's... It feels like it's a mixture of the fact that these levels seem easier than they used to be, and the fact that, that I'm also feeling like I actually know what I'm doing now. Despite the fact that I'm... Oh no, why did I... I accidentally killed the guy critical to my progress because I just sort of shot a fireball forward and he sort of bounced right into him. How unfortunate. Okay. Let's try this. So I got this here going on. It's block up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and float past everything. Darn it, I really wanted to run jump over everything. Oh well, there's not really much to run jump over. I mean, there's this part where you got platform thing sort of there. Okay, so this time I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna flow across this platform because I wanna do it legitly, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and <laughs> not kill everything. So, uh, like, typically, I guess. So what's up here? No. I do know, however, that because this is a horizontal level, things do not despawn off the top and bottom of the screen. So, putting that vine right there is kind of a jerk move because then it it coerces you to sort of just jump down and then get killed because the dude will be right there waiting for you because it doesn't despawn. Also, this better not be a secret exit or something stupid. Wait. Lakitu? Lakitu, what are you doing here? Lakitu? Okay, so there's a key? And there's also this. Uh, what? There was another goal back there. Does this level have three secret exits? Does this game even support three secret exits? I don't think it does. However, it did go up like I expect a secret exit to do. Maybe the key is just there to signify that that is a secret exit in the first place, which means, of course, I have to do this level again. However, since I do indeed have to do this exit again, I'm just gonna skip everything. Because, I mean, I've done this level already, so I'm not really missing out, and I'm not really abusing anything by just skipping it. Wait, should I should've done the bit again. I mean, I don't think there's anything up here anyway, so I don't need to worry. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Wait. What? Oh, I didn't start select. What is wrong with me? Also, oh, there's a key up there. What? I'm gonna grab the um. I'm gonna do this again. I, might, I don't think I'm gonna skip this up right away, Nissa. But I am gonna freaking like what? Why is there two? Do both those galaxies lead to the same place? So I'm gonna obviously skip it. Yeah, that's it. Well, not expected at this point. I'm also not gonna just drop down. I'm just gonna fly straight to the goal and forego everything. So there's a key up there. I also got it accidentally, apparently. So I'll just grab that one up for free. So where does this goal lead then? Also, look at that time glitch. 64 in the last digits. How does timesing anything by 50 get you anything but a zero in the last digits, right? 
That is a secret exit. Remember that goalpost? Just gonna read the thing, I guess. I was playing with the big point. I think I got the handicap on the Uh, okay, uh, so, apparently there's just sort of a key up here. I guess we go over here. No, 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 you can actually see it. Oh, there's, I guess, oh! It's from the Koopa thing. Well, that's obvious. And for once, I'm not even being sarcastic. That actually is, like, how did I not think of that? So, uh, I guess I'll just run over here and get the secret exit. I should have known better than to assume that any sort of keyhole was... Uh, purely aesthetic because this is some crazy ROM hack where it just sort of does whatever. Ugh, whatever. So at least this fortress here. However, I'm not gonna bother because it's a flame fort. So instead, I'm gonna drop a save here and go into Sunset Ninja Sky. Also, all these are sky levels. This reminds me a lot of that one world in Donkey Kong Land. For more reasons than one. Also, what? Weirdest ninja in the world? Maybe. Anyways, uh, because not only is it all sky levels, but also because it has Donkey Kong Land music. I mean, duh. What the heck are those things? They're not quite. They're not. They're obviously not standard ninjas. Ugh. But they aren't just like not ninjas, because I mean they aren't just hopping around. They're just really abrupt hopping. It's weird. I guess they're probably custom enemies then. They're also making actual jumping sounds. I didn't even notice that right away. Ow. See, you know, this is the part where I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that they're okay. This is kind of the unfortunate thing with these levels is I'm I, I can kinda of, I'm gonna kind of assume that there's not gonna be blind jumps that are gonna kill you stupidly like that, but it is sort of a thing where it's like There's not really much I can do but just hope for the best, right? Well, that was bizarre. Ah, yeah! Wow, cape. It has its uses. Ooh. Spin jumping with objects in your hand. This is a special trick that not a lot of people actually figured out. However, if you're watching me, you probably do know how to do it because you watch someone else in particular that I also watch because that person happens to be pretty amazing at the Mario's. So what's the point of this key? I've been carrying it the whole time. Tell me I didn't miss something dumb. So where's the keyhole then? It, it's just gonna be up in the sky again, isn't it? It's like, what else can I expect? It's either up in the sky or way in the ground. It's one or two, it always is. And... It leads over there, so... Huh. Where does it... Where exactly does that lead then? Hmm. I suppose we'll figure it out eventually. Also, that was dumb. However, I am very happy that there's lots of yellow blocks all over the place, making it a little easier to, you know, not get murderized by power-ups, slackage. <laughs> also, yeah, there is a key down there. This is where I found it last time. Can I just... Uh, I don't know if I can get to that without a cape. Unless there's something I'm missing. There's definitely not something I'm missing. Okay, um... Let me quickly go into the fungus level here. Grab this uh, flower. It is not a flower, but it comes from something that might maybe eat flowers. I, I don't know. I don't think birds are very keen on flowers, actually. I don't know why I said they would be. However, it's funny, so who cares? Anyways, um. Yeah. So this is here. Oh, it's right there! How did I not notice that before? Well, whatever. That was easy. <laughs> this is going swimmingly, and that's another star level. I think I'm just gonna freaking do another level, because I mean, it's another yellow level, and it, these levels have been going great so far. And more of this music. That, you know what? That's a very positive note on for me. 
Oh no! No! A pee balloon level! Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have that much of an issue with tubular, funnily enough. But like, every time a ROM hack does it, I can just feel the fear, like just erupting from all of my appendages. Uh, because you go so freaking slow. A lot of ROM hacks feel like they don't take that into account. It's like I hope I don't die just because I had to go down a bit. Oh wait, is that a Oh it's a straight pea balloon thing. Also I really wish I hadn't grabbed that thing as soon as possible. Cause now I have a feeling I can't cheese it anymore. Ugh. Ugh. It's a good thing Mario's hitbox like this isn't so bad. Like at least I can still bounce off stuff. You know what that that's already a midpoint? You know what? I'm okay with that. More levels need to realize that just because a level, not every level needs to be around the same length. If a level is harder, it's generally like this, or it revolves around a unique gimmick, it's usually not a bad idea to keep it short and sweet. I don't know what the point of that was, but okay. Also trampoline stuff. Apparently this is the gimmick? Oh. This revolves around lots of different types of flying. Of course, you can kind of cheat here, because you can just go like that. However, I might actually... Oh! I don't know if they intended you to get rid of Yoshi. But, evidently, they did not intend for you to just jump willy-nilly into that pipe. However, that does mean a one-up. I'm okay with this. That part really wasn't that difficult, however, I'm also running out of time, possibly. Which also sucks. Dang it. I'm just gonna cheat again. Hup, 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 the weird thing is that blue Yoshi, you can hold the button to just fly, but with any other Yoshi, you have to keep pressing it. I don't know why. I think they intended for you to get rid of Yoshi there. I don't know. Well, one thing's for certain. They definitely did not intend for you to get hit by a bullet bill and beat the level still. Oh! You can pretty much, as long as you press it with your tongue, you pretty much do no problem. Ugh. Yeah, like, I'm getting it. They don't make you kill Yoshi here. So I don't know why they wouldn't make you... I guess it's sort of like that sort of thing where they, they, they just expect you to do it, so... I don't know if I want to do this with Yoshi or with the balloon. I'm going to stick with Yoshi. Maybe I'll... Okay, now there's no bullet. Oh, is it a bullet generator? You know, that's very weird. They, they didn't... I guess there's supposed to be something there that makes you kill Yoshi there, but it just sort of didn't happen. Well, whatever. I'm okay with that. Um... Yeah, that's about good enough for this part. See you guys later.